What's up guys, John here with Rocky Top Off-Road. I'm here with Adam and Chase. And what we've got here today is our 1.3 liter motor out of our white tin top Samurai. Uh, last weekend on the, on the trail, this thing used five quarts of oil mm -hmm. in about three hours. Um, all of it going right out the tailpipe. Now, from what I understood about this, this truck, it was a very low mileage vehicle, but upon the disassembly and pulling the head off, we did find a crack in the head and a lot of play in the pistons. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and tear it down, get it off to the machine shop tomorrow, uh, get it all mic checked out, and then get some parts ordered up and see if we can't get this thing back together and back on the trail in reasonable, reasonable amount of time. All right, cut. Guys, guys, your water pump is not supposed to have engine oil in it. No, that's bad. What we had to do here is on the front of these little motors, it's got the crank bolt, 17 millimeter nut, and they are put on there with the same force that was released on uh, Hiroshima back in the 40s. <laughs> so, so we actually had to use a long pry bar and an even longer pry bar on the end of a ratchet to and snap it, that bolt loose. And then put two of the flywheel bolts in the back and I held it there just like that. You just had to hang off the back of it. Yep. So sometimes you gotta improvise. Do it's amazing you... how tight those little bolts are on on these engines. So what I'm doing right now is removing the oil pump housing. That's gonna be from here all the way around to here. Which that oil pump's gonna go bye bye. Yep. I think it's sending quite a bit of abuse, so we're gonna retire this little guy all right so there's the oil pump there that thing's toast right along with everything else we've taken off of it including the head and pretty bad actually everything else so yeah the bearing's still in here oh yeah those are no bueno they're pretty munched but they yeah. weren't horrible they're not flattened out or anything, but... No. Did we see which way the... I stamped it. Okay. See, I put a, well, partial parcel one on there. All right, guys, we got the crank ready Here's to pull the out. Thrust bearing right here. And surprisingly, it does not look that bad. Get the thrust bearings out of it. Those don't look too bad. No, they look pretty good. So there was definitely well, no crank walk. Of course, I think I think ultimately what we're going to find here is the problem is just gonna, needs to be rebuilt. It's going to be the cylinder head is going to be the main culprit, but we don't know any history of this motor. So, and this is going to be a long-term driver. So we might as well go ahead and just spend rebuild the whole spanking thing and go through it. Polish crank, the whole nine. Crank looks good. It really does. I mean, the journal's going to be polished. Yeah. Other than that, it's not too horrible. So, all right, guys. And all the main bearings look pretty darn good. Yeah. There it is, one torn down 1.3 liter. Headed off to the machine shop tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll get it back uh, by next week, and we'll uh, video put this thing back together. Yeah, have it trail worthy again. So, and, and ne until next time. Keep the shiny side up. Keep the shiny side up, and tune in again to Rocky Top Off-Road. Truck nuts, swinging diesel, fuel filled up, Copenhagen in a damn black coffee in a cup six.